Leeks have got to be my favorite vegetable, and this is the first year that we have grown them in our very own garden, or rather my husband grew them. I just got to harvest them, and they are just the sweetest, mildest onion flavor. They get really dirty, so I had to wash them a lot outside, and then I brought about eight of them inside, and I made some vichyssoise, which is a potato and leek soup. You just cut everything up and blend it together with a little bit of milk. I use a recipe from Mimi Thorson's French farmhouse cookbook. She is such an inspiration to me. She makes cooking and motherhood look so glamorous and I just love her for that. And um, if you've never if you've ever seen her books, I really highly recommend them. They're such an inspiration, just gorgeous. Her husband does all of the photography as well, and oh, it's sumptuous. I forgot to take a picture of my vichyssoise, but I used her recipe. And we also had a really good crop of potatoes this year in our garden, more than we've ever had. And there is nothing like a new potato out of the garden, so it's just delicious. I made this potato salad from Julia Child's Master in the Art of French Cooking, and then I also made this beet and carrot, just raw beets and carrots with like a little vinaigrette, food process it all together. Summer is such a time to like rush, rush, rush to process food. Um, but my favorite household chore really is ironing. I'm not going to go so far as to say it's self-care, but I really do enjoy ironing. I'll put on a show and I'll just relax and I love seeing the end result of the pressed clothing. It's very satisfying. I enjoy all aspects of laundry as a matter of fact. I can't say that about any other household chores really. I wonder what you all think. What is your favorite? If you have a favorite, I would say cleaning, cooking, laundry. Laundry is far and away the best for me. Um, but I've gotten into this summer back into making my own homemade DIY cleaners using uh, Becky. I can never say her last name. It was Simply Clean Mama. I love her book and I've used them for years. And I just got back into making my own cleaners. Here I am. This I follow her method, which is to just do a little bit every day. So on Mondays, I clean both of the bathrooms and I use this homemade DIY disinfecting cleaner. She's got a recipe for it in her book. I added some lemon essential oil, so I just love the way that it smells. Cleaning is not my favorite part of homekeeping, but I love Becky's sort of mantra of just a little bit every day, and I try to keep up with that. So Monday, I did both of the bathrooms, and the reward of just feeling relaxed because the house is in order is well worth the discipline of forcing myself to get these things done. Um, what I love about it the most is that I pretty much always feel comfortable if somebody drops by or if I just want to impromptu invite someone over that the house is more or less in order and I don't have to run around and do this crazy amount of cleaning just because we're going to have someone over or feel embarrassed if somebody stops by. So Becky's method is well worth it for that reason and very inspiring and her homemade cleaners and just the way she presents her book it kind of the beauty of it all it also inspires me a lot um just i think i need things to look really beautiful or feel like they're really well thought out and then i get really inspired so i'm Mimi Thorson and, and Becky uh, Rapinchuk, I think is her last name, from Clean Mama, are two of my um, most inspiring ladies that I love to follow who help me as I try to keep my home looking beautiful. Of course, after you have remodeled a room, like our downstairs bathroom, it's really fun. I always find it a lot more fun to keep it clean and, and I feel a lot more inspired to keep it clean because I've just gotten it and designed it and worked so hard to get it to look just so. And that's a really good inspiration too. I love mopping my shower and the floor at the same time with my spray mop. 
I love this spray mop. I've just got like a vinegar solution in there, which is great on tile. And I'm loving these Okabashi sandals this summer. I found them at Walgreens. They're amazing. They're made in USA and they just go anywhere and everywhere. And they're this really interesting material that you can actually wash them in the top rack of your dishwasher, according to the company. So I went ahead and tried that and they came out, you know, sanitized and looking great. So I'm really enjoying those sandals this summer. I do have a discount code for 15% off if I'll link that below. Speaking of um, keeping your house clean so you can just invite people over impromptu, I ran into a friend at the library uh, and I said, hey, why don't you all come over for dinner? on um, it was on Saturday and they did and it was great because my girls and I just had a great time we made these little flourless chocolate cakes in the morning and we got the table all set up and ready to go I like to do dinner parties backwards like I'll, I'll make the dessert first and then I'll get the table all set up so all this was done like in the morning and then the house was clean because we'd done a little bit every day all week thank you Becky <laughs> And then I just cooked the rest of the meal closer to the time they actually came. So I love giving dinner parties. It's my favorite way to entertain because I feel like you can really get to know people in that kind of smaller, more intimate setting. We had a lot of places set because um, both of our families, we each have five kids, so it adds up to a lot. But the grown-ups were all at one end of the table um, so we could enjoy each other's company and chat and while the kids played at the fun table. And then another thing I've been meaning to do this summer is get all this fabric that I bought a long, long time ago and make some aprons. So I finally made some really pretty little aprons for my daughters. And then I decided I've been wanting to make an apron for myself because it's another I, way to get inspired for homekeeping is to have really pretty aprons. And mine are all pretty worn out and I had this fabric. So I went ahead and made one for myself. This is my favorite way to make straps. I just cut these long strips of fabric and fold them in half and then like a letter. Um, I've sort of amalgamated a couple different apron tutorials into one that is the fastest and works for me the best. So I folded this fabric in half lengthwise. It's about a yard of fabric. And then I used an old apron that I like the shape of to cut out the armhole you can cut the armhole out without using a pattern or even another apron but i've discovered that this way i really get a shape that i like so i used this old apron and cut out the armhole and then i also used it to kind of gauge how long i wanted it to be this fabric was it was a little too long when the aprons are a little too long i don't i just don't like how that makes me feel i want to feel a certain like I want it. I want to feel chic, I guess. Um, and a too long or too wide apron, I just feel like I'm wrapped in a flower sack. So I wanted this to be a certain particular shape. And I made this one double-sided as well. So I cut out two pieces of fabric and then turned them uh, wrong ways together and sewed them together. And put a little pocket on each side. Then I got inspired to make some more aprons for some family members. I had all this fabric. I've been meaning to do this forever, but I finally got around to it. So these I just made um, just one-sided and I, I hemmed all the way around. I, after cutting out the fabric, I just hemmed a little like one inch hem underneath all the way around and added some pockets in the middle. And these are actually gifts to my brother and his family. They're avid cooks and bakers, and I thought it would be so cute to give them like a family set of matched aprons as a present. We're about to see them for a summer vacation that we're taking, and I'm excited to bring these up there. Here I am making the pocket, so I just fold a rectangle of cloth just hem all the sides and then sew it right onto the front of each apron. I ended up making three aprons in this red stripe material. And I centered it by just folding the apron in half lengthwise and then just pinning where the exact center was with a little pin. And then I sewed down that middle part so that instead of one big pocket, it's like two pockets. 
And here are the completed aprons. I made a fancier one for my brother's wife. It's double-sided and has flowers and a little embroidery and then some striped aprons for him and for his, his kids. So I hope that they like them. I'm really pleased with them. And now my boys are asking if I'll make them aprons, which I definitely will probably next week. <laughs> here they all are. So I like to be able to adjust the neckties, not have a fixed necktie, and then just tie it around one little pocket. And it's reversible, so you can do the other side is like this gray damask print, which is really sweet. just wanted to try them all on to make sure this is the one for my brother so it's a little bigger and taller but I think it's gonna work well for him and then some child size ones in the same matching fabric I think these are gonna be a good size for the kids and these were only half a yard of fabric a piece really simple pocket in the middle and then just ties we are getting so much produce out of the garden it's like such a rush to get it all processed it's so beautiful and I decided to make a bunch of gazpacho which is my favorite summertime oh I just absolutely love it this cold tomato soup I used a new recipe this time I found on the New York Times website usually I make it with stale bread but this one was made with cucumbers and onions and it was delicious I will link to that recipe down below if you'd like to try it yourself but it was a great way to use up all of the cucumbers and tomatoes that we're getting out of the garden and it was pretty simple too it was a, quite a bit of chopping I find the summertime rush with produce is a little challenging for me cooking is not my favorite I love decorating more I would love to know what you all think about that. If you prefer cooking or do you prefer cleaning? Do you prefer laundry? Do you prefer decorating? Um, how you deal with your summer gardens? If you have any helpful hints. It is such a delicious summertime food. So it was, I didn't have any peppers. So I just used cucumbers, garlic, tomatoes, and a little bit of olive oil and red wine vinegar and some salt. It really couldn't be simpler. It's like a liquid salad. I just food processed all that together. First you do the veggies and then you go back and add the oil and they're all blended up. And then to get the tomato skins out, because they really, they do not taste good if they're in your final product. After you've food processed it, I strained mine through a food mill and that got all this, the tomato skins. So it, caught them so the final product is a little smoother without the skins and it is so great and I just pour it into mason jars and it looks beautiful and I can store it in the fridge and we can enjoy it for the next couple of weeks.